Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial on using the automatic game detection feature for the G300 gaming mouse. This video will be a step by step video, assuming you've already installed the mouse and software and played around with the settings. If needed, I can make a dummy style video to really go from A to Z. We'll be covering three crucial steps in this video. The first step is to create the gamer profile, excuse me, game profile with correct settings. The second step is to program the buttons. And lastly, restart the game and or, re or restart the software to apply the game profile. I've already created a uh, Battlefield profile already on the left part of the screen. I'll be focusing on the two left buttons, the two right buttons. Logitech likes to call it uh, G5, G6, but I'm going to call these two left buttons L1, L2, and these two right buttons R1, R2, just for simplicity. Let's go ahead and create this game profile from scratch. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy in. This is the important part. Make sure the, uh, the game profile is pointing to the right executable. Task manager sees exactly which executable it is. So in this case it's bf4e.exe. So I'm going to go ahead and find the path to that and games battle four all right here we go all right so we have the uh, right path and now I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and click lock profile while game is running just to make sure that the game profile is applied all right so um, let's go ahead and start uh, number three I'm gonna put down L1 so make sure you click on the arrow, edit, keystroke. Uh, I always clear uh, just, you know, for best practice. And it's going to be three, number three. And then do the same thing for whatever, whichever key set you want to, uh, to assign. Clear. Let's go. Oh, shit. Space bar. And I'm just going to uh, do these really quickly. I should stop doing that. But and one more button. Clear. Two. Oh shit. Two. Number two. Sidearm. All right, cool. So now the, the buttons are programmed. Um, let's go ahead and close this out. And close out Battlefield. You know what, let's just let's do a heart reset. So we're gonna launch the game detection. And let's launch the game. And just to check out the properties again, uh, name, description, and make sure that the executable is correct. All right, so. Uh, let's pull up these keys. So I'm gonna go class. That was a three. Um, L two, which is jump, and then keystroke E, which I do not have a vehicle to enter. And then number two is sidearm. Oh shit! Up. Alright. Alrighty, so just to recap, um, make sure you create the game profile, making sure the profile is pointing to the right executable. Um, make sure you check lock profile while gaming is running, program the buttons, restart the game, and or restart the software to apply the game profile. 
already. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment or a suggestion. Thank you for watching.